Hello and welcome to another Kubrick tutorial. In this one, we're going to be looking into all the options you have to represent your 3D scene in Unreal Engine with different shapes to achieve different effects in the environments. We're going to look into your common 3D plane, the Sea Cove stage, and also the Arrow stage. Let's jump right in and see what each one of these represent. The most common one is your simple flat 3D plane that allows you to have a multi-plane layout based on distance and each segmental layer goes there in order to create that parallax that basic parallax that you need but sometimes depending on the camera moves that you have you may need something that looks larger and allows you some kind of ground plane below and also some kind of a sky plane above in this case i developed this particular c shaped cove stage that surrounds the camera and allows you to create a camera move that makes it look as if you had the real ground plane. This is still a flat image, but being deformed in the C shape allows it to be much more interesting. You can also have multi-plane with a C cove stage, as I show here, where the mountains can be separated from the faraway background. And when the camera moves, it just really works. And then we have what I developed and I called the arrow stage. When I needed a much further vanishing point and create that really vast environment with a ground plane and a sky, this shape seems to be working very well to represent that and see that ground parallaxing below you. And then there are those uncommon shots. In this one, revealing a planet, um, I simply stretched in a, in a vertical scale that same arrow shape, and it really worked for that camera. All of these combine can give you a wide arrangement of what you need in order to represent any particular environment and each case is very different so remember that you have many choices and all of these can work in conjunction as we see in this particular shot where i also added some fog to make it more interesting and see some motion thank you for joining us today on this tutorial we hope to see you on the next one